To make sure you're caught up on all the newest Neological videos, make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> oh man. Yar mateys, welcome back to Beam in G Drive. The name be Captain Neological. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, can't do the uh can't do the voice. Anyway, welcome back to Beam in G Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be resurrecting an old long forgotten mod. This is a actual pirate ship in Beam in G Drive. Now, I made a video back about this way back in the day when it came out. And we really haven't had any other kind of boat mods for this game. I think with the exception of a paper boat. Like a, a literal little tiny <laughs> itty bitty little paper boat. Uh, but yeah, that and this giant pirate ship are all that we really have. So in today's episode, I think it would be kind of fun to try to sink it. Because obviously, the pirates have uh, traveled to Italy here to plunder and steal all the riches so we need to stop them obviously so what we're gonna try first is the cannon now we're gonna try to hit this thing from a distance pretty far he's pretty far out in the harbor here so we gotta have a nice aim here so I need to aim perfectly right there and see if we can actually boom miss <laughs> all right let's try that again then maybe aim a little bit higher Ooh, that's looking good Okay, we made contact. Did not sink, though. It almost actually seemed like it just straight up a bounced off. So maybe we should aim a little bit higher. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> it seems like it uh, actually just bounced off yet again. Okay, I see you. So at least I know where I'm aiming now. So maybe actually just a little bit. Oh, that might be too high. Where's the, Where is the cannonball here? Hold on, where are you? There it is. Oh! Oh, did I just... <laughs> I think I just hit one of their cannons. These are actually... Oh, these are actually functional can cannons, by the way. So if we go over to the controls up here, we can actually lower the cannons, fire the port cannons. Let's do that. I doubt, I doubt we're actually going to hit anything, but they are there, which is pretty cool. So if you have two of these boats, you can actually make them fight each other. If you guys would like to see that, by the way, in a uh, separate video, let me know. Uh, down below in the comments because I think that would be a lot of fun. It already looks like we're kind of taking on water here. Uh oh, that's probably not good. Well, actually, it is good because we're trying to sink the pirate, not play as the pirate. So, you know, what? I'm going to actually keep hitting him with this cannon because I think if we hit him just enough, we might be able to sink him. Oh, that was a dead on shot. Uh oh, yeah, that was dead on and did not really uh, do anything. So. I'm starting to wonder if this cannonball is actually powerful or if the pirate ship is just made out of... Oh! Oh, that might have done it. Oh, he's going down. Oh, look at it go. Oh! <laughs> Capsizing! It's, be <laughs> it's beautiful. It all just went down at once. Oh, man, and look at it. Oh! <laughs> it ripped itself in half. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. It just kind of... Did it explode once it uh, sank to the bottom or what? I'm not really sure, but that is one sunken pirate ship. So, we know that with a few shots and a little persistence, you can, in fact, sink the pirate ship with another cannon. So, let's kind of up the ante here. Let's see these pirate. Let's say that these pirates accidentally traveled through time into the modern age. The age of tanks. So, I actually believe I do have a tank downloaded. Yes, the sample tank. It's not the prettiest thing to look at, but it does have a functioning gun on it. So, let's see if we can uh, aim this thing right at the tank. So, we need to aim a little bit up, I believe. Maybe there. Let's, let's fire see what happens. Ooh! Okay, yeah, that was actually a little bit too high. So, maybe... A little bit lower. Oh, too low. Maybe right there. That might be the sweet spot. Three, two, one. Ooh. Did we hit it? Oh, it looks like we... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's a big gaping hole in the side. It, did, it is not sinking, though. So maybe 
Maybe we need to fire again, huh? Oh! <laughs> that did it. And down it goes. I like how the masts just still stick out so that I think the pirate flag is still is still above the water there. That's kind of spooky. Some the lassophobia. If you if you guys um haven't heard of that, it's basically the fear of like the deep ocean or stuff that like actually I think the submechanophobia is like when you see a massive structure underwater, it kind of gives you the willies. I don't know why, but that kind of like if I put the camera down here, that kind of gives me that feeling. Like have you ever seen a picture of the Titanic underwater? And you just get kind of like creeped out and you don't know why. That's usually, there's an actual name for that. It's submechanophobia. Anyway, that's what I'm getting right now. Anyway, let's see if we can actually, can I turn this a little bit to the right? There we go. Because I want to hit back there. Ooh. Did I hit the, did I hit one of the, the sails? It kind of looked like I did. Actually, let's, uh, let's aim this thing down just a little bit. Actually, not that far. Right about there. Can I like rapid fire these? Ooh. There we go. Giant hole. It's not sinking though, is it? I can't actually tell. Let's hit it again. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, no. Let's move it a little bit to the left here. So that's the F button. All right. There. Nice. Oh, we hit the, <laughs> we hit the wheel. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful, man. I wish we had more boats in this game. Could you imagine like a just massive like Titanic ship or some like battleship just sitting in the harbor that you could sink? Oh, that would be amazing. Or maybe like that game Stormworks so we could make like a massive wave. Oh, it would be awesome. Rigs of Rods had a ton of uh, boats and stuff to mess around with. And we have like two. We have, well, actually we have three. We have a, a car that has pontoons on it, which counts as a boat, I guess. We have the Pembroke, which is uh, this pirate ship right here, and we have a, a little toy boat, and that is about it. Come on. For shame. For shame. We have more planes than boats. You would think it would be easier to make a boat. I don't know that, uh, but yeah, guys, can we get more boats in BeamNG Drive? Like, maybe the devs could make one? I don't know. It's, it, I, I think it would be a lot of fun. That's just me, though. Anyway, so the, the tank, obviously, is going to be able to sink the boat pretty freaking easily. But what if we want to step it up even more? I believe I have it somewhere. Where is it though? Is it under? Is it under the D series? Yes, it is the tech. Uh, excuse me, the technical. If you guys have never seen this mod, absolutely wonderful mod. Basically, a D series with a machine gun uh, on top of it. So let's see if we can cause any damage with this. Which button is it to fire? Page up. Okay. Not me. No way. <laughs> no way. No way it's going to go down that easily. I guess it is. Wow. Okay. So you really don't even have to try. <laughs> you really don't even have to try with this. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was super easy. Let's just fire a couple bullets and see what happens. Maybe I got lucky that time. Maybe it was a fluke. Let's keep, keep firing. Where am I shooting? Oh, now it's not going down. If I shoot the flags. There it goes. Wow. It just, it just straight up fell. As if gravity just stopped working. Insane. Look at that. It's perfect. There's the holes I blew in the side of it. Oh man, yeah, we we just riddled this thing with bullets, man. That's awesome. But the D series technical action or not technical. What is it called? What is this thing called? Tactical? Did I read that wrong? Technic no, it's the technical. Anyway, this mod actually has a couple different variants here. Uh wait, no, I gotta i I'm on the wrong mod. Anyway, if I go over to the vehicle configurator here, we can actually Switch out the mounted machine gun with a mounted recoilless rifle, which is basically, as it sounds, basically a rocket. So let's see what we can do with this thing. And ooh, I missed. <laughs> Need to aim a little bit higher. And boom, too high. Too high. Maybe like right there. Ooh, that looked good. Did I just shoot it through the window? Come on, make contact. 
Ooh, that looked pretty good. Be over here. Wow, is it just why is it not doing anything? I, it looks like I'm hitting it. Okay, that did not hit. Okay, okay, I'm out of ammo. I need to respawn here. Maybe like right there. No. Right there. No. Huh? Maybe the uh, pirate ship is invincible to this kind of weaponry. I don't know. That one I just basically missed. So right there. No, that's too high still. But then when I go just down a little bit, it goes straight into the water. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. How about another one for you? Oh. <laughs> I don't think it's sinking, though. We did definitely put a giant hole in the boat, though. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, there it goes very slowly, and then it's just going to fall. Watch. And... Oh, wait. No, it's not. Oh, there it goes. Yep. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful with the flag sticking out. I love it. I love it. All right, so how can we step it up from here, you might ask? Well, I got an idea. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we haven't used it in a while. So I want to use the car launcher, the large cannon, which you can basically park cars into and launch them into orbit. So maybe if we can get some sort of vehicle in here, we can launch it that away right on to the boat. So actually, you know what? I need to move this a little bit more this way there we go there we go perfect perfect i think i think that's good now we need a car that's actually gonna be able to fly pretty far so i'm thinking some sort of covet should be good for the job here so you know what let's just take i don't know this one this is gonna be fine we'll take this one and see if we can launch it into the pirate ship if i can do this this is gonna be absolutely amazing Get in there. There we go. Park right about there. All right. So now the hard part, which is actually just aiming here. So let's lift it up. We need to make sure this is absolutely perfect. So right there, maybe. I don't know. Let's try it out. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Just a little bit too high, though. Just barely. So maybe a little bit lower because we went through the flat or the uh, the sails there. So we need to go a little bit lower. So maybe like right there. Oh, come on. It's a giant cannonball. Oh, no. <laughs> just short. Oh, that hurts. All right. Just a little bit higher. And we should be good. It, it crushes this car into like a giant cannonball. Which is just awesome. So let's put it right there. This is the third time's the charm. So maybe right there. Mm. No, man, just short again. It's hard to tell what you were on the last one. So it's there's not a lot of room for error here. That's for sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think we hit it. Did we? Did it do anything? I can't tell. I know it hit it though. Oh man. Okay, I think that was the that was the good that was a, the right uh, height for this thing. So I'm just gonna keep trying this, guys. We're gonna get this. Oh. <laughs> okay, that definitely hit it. It didn't really it didn't really do anything to it though, unfortunately. So yeah, I mean it works, but I don't think it's actually going to to do much unless you have a pretty robust vehicle so yeah that's probably a no for me dog but you know maybe maybe we could just drop a car from space just directly on the boat maybe that'll do the trick i don't know let's just drop the covet right there and watch it just kind of smash the pirate ship hopefully maybe it'll go i think it'll probably just go straight through the ship i don't even know if it's gonna sink it oh <laughs> Yeah, it's sink. it sunk it for sure. It, it hesitated just a little bit, but uh, it did in fact sink it. See, watch, it's gonna like bounce off the deck, and then the boat's like, oh wait, that should have like just absolutely wrecked me. So we're gonna sink now. Or is it not gonna do it? Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh man. Okay, you know I gotta try that with a giant, giant truck. 
All right, so I'm going to use the cement mixer. Probably the biggest truck I have downloaded right now. I don't have the Belez downloaded at the moment, but I think this is a good, a good substitute. So for now, anyway, I think it's going to do the job fairly well. So let's just drop it from up here and watch the fireworks as they say. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it just straight up ripped the boat in half. I love it, guys. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode of BMNG Pirate Edition. If you guys want to see more of the pirate ship on the channel, uh, let me know down below. And what do you want to see me do with it? Just pirate battles? More of this? If you got any ideas, let me know down below in those comments or in my Discord. There's a section just for suggestions, which I read every day. So I highly recommend you join. I'll have a link down below. But anyway, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys. The next one, our good.